And now you can see, go to the sandbird. It's nice. I, I like that it's like, just pretty much an ongoing story. And pretty much every- I, mean, I said episode 3, I'm at episode 4 blue coins. That's oh, okay. That's, that's why I was confused, okay. Can't read. <laughs> it happens sometimes. So how many were in there? Like three, four? And now we're suddenly here. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah, so this this uh, part uh, can get can be a little bit tricky because of the way the sandbird moves around and stuff. Uh and also the way the Clouds, clouds are like they, they move away from the bird really fast. So don't be surprised if you just end up killing yourself, yourself a few times doing this. Imagine doing this in VR. <laughs> they already have a Breath of the Wild in Odyssey. It's another one. Uh, okay. Oh crap. Dang it. I don't want to lose a life for all of these, come on. I appreciate that it sa at least saves them when you die. I don't know if I can get back. <laughs> oh! Dang it. Okay, let's get that... I'm gonna get that red coin first, because it's argu arguably the most dangerous one. Okay, this is where it gets kind of scary. I'm getting weird Skyward Sword flash forwards. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I can kind of see that. And just turns around again. Okay, we're coming to the end of this. Just gotta make sure I'm not. Using... Oh, hey, hey. Let's not miss this. Clearing them. New Super Mario Bros. Athletic theme right now. Oh! Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. Get back, please. No. No! Oh, no. Oh, what happens now? Um. Because the end of the stage is over there. Oh, crap. It's moving away from me. Don't know where this cloud's going. I don't think I can reach that. 
Um, we can try. Yeah, there's no way. Oh crap. I think the sandbird was uh, going back to its original position. Never seen that before. Okay. Well, at least we just. We can just play the level like normal this time. My deaths. In this. In, in this area, my deaths just tend to be through the blue coins. Because they, like. Just kind of. They come and go in, in the. Uh, in this area so fast. Alright. Now I just wait out. Okay. Well, okay, be careful there. This tower. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mario's face. Oh, that has to be one. That has to be the thumbnail. <laughs> Oh, this guy. Okay, this is a on. This is like a a running uh, challenge throughout the game. Piantissimo. Yep. Name. Yeah, il il piantissimo, tissimo. I don't know. At least Cooper. Looking. Yeah, I think it, he's literally like if you look under his mask, he's meant to. He's basically just a uh, a the ha, the um what was it the postman from uh, Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask just just kind of he's he's basically just like a, a black version of of the of the postman. Kind of interesting, like just like have some uh, into like cross series uh, references, I guess. We'll see. Equiv Is there an equivalent in? In the Galaxy games? I don't remember. Sounds like Mario. Oh yeah, that's true. What about Galaxy 2? I feel like there were races in Galaxy 2, but I don't remember what they were. Probably guess a chimp. Yeah. Oh, there's also those uh, flazard things, I guess. <laughs> oh. Alright. There's two. There's two here. for the first one. Another one involves a blue cataphract sleeping on a tree by the tower. Oh! Okay. Kind of a tease with all these. Uh, the, the, there's these blue coins that you can't get until Yoshi. 
So, like, as soon as you get him, like, a, a lot, like, pretty much the rest of the game opens up for you. Because there's even, like, um, I, I know there's one world you can't get until Yoshi shows up. Um, wait, what was I doing? Uh, oh yeah, the car quack. Oh, there's a turbo nozzle. I'll get that in a bit. There you are. Oh crap. The bees! Yay! Alright, what's the, what was the other one? Near the tower. Okay. Oh, oh, the, the tower one. Uh, well, we just took took care of a blue cock wax, so. Oh, this is this Top of the giant hut near the tower. Use the rocket nozzle. Oh, okay. We need to find that now, then. Now as well just get this turbo. One while we're, while we're here. I hope the rocket nozzle is over here. Because otherwise... Okay, there we go. Because otherwise I wouldn't know where to look. Just gonna make sure the bees don't snipe us or something. Uh, Alright. 26. Um, wait, what? Oh, red coins, okay. I was gonna say, I completely forgot what the actual mission was. I love doing this, like just using tur turbo on the water is really fun. So you just basically just explore the, explore this reef, and um, yeah, just, they, they, t they tend to like uh, having the red coin missions be condensed to like one section of the area. Which is kind of interesting. It, it I kind of like it in a sense because otherwise it would get really messy to find these things. There we go, got that one. Mario for destroying coral. <laughs> okay, where's the last one? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Huzzah. I'll be right back, just... Keep on recording. Okay. And just jump. Oh, dang it. Come on. Yay.
All right. Okay, so we got episode six. No, I don't remember what this one is. Oh, it's just episode six. Okay, okay. The, the Shadow Mario is. All right. No, let's just take him out. <laughs> I really, well, one thing I like about these chases is that uh, Shadow Mario does a lot of really cool maneuvers and like when you first play this game you'll pro you probably be like, like, I wish I could do stuff like that and you can, it just takes some practice learning the actual the me mechanics and whatnot. Sometimes he's just like showing off for no reason. <laughs> I love doing that on the Shadow Mario fights. Just flood going crazy. All right. Uh, do you do you know which episode is good for hundred coins? Oh, okay, episode 8. Alright. This... If you like popping watermelons. Oh, uh, oh, okay, yeah, I know. I, I know uh, how to do uh, what that's talking about. Um, I think first things first, we should uh, just get the actual mission out of the way first, because this is, this is like one of the most infamous in the game. So... This is also a semi-obscure blue coin, like, I'm, I'm a little bit more lenient with this one because there, there's, there's a blender up here and like, you don't know that you, you're supposed to put a fruit into it, but still, it's a, I guess, a little bit less clever at least it's clever it's it's a it's a still a little bit too obscure but it's one of the better ones okay so first things first you want to kill all the cataquacks because otherwise they're gonna just get in the way it, it, it's a long process but it's worth it at least at the very least, you want to get the ones on this side. I don't think that's going to rage. No. Gah! Take a while to get back up. Come on. Murder! Yeah, so basically, the, the reason why I want, you want to get rid of these guys is because you need to roll down like a giant watermelon from like the top area. And if the Cataquacks like bump into it at all, it just blows up. And, um... Mario will literally die of despair afterwards. <laughs> Wait. I should have learned another one. Oh. I, get yeah. up anyways. There's two her. The, the one stuff, like, really far out to the other side, he probably won't have to worry too much about. Wow. These things are so weird. I, out of like, 
all the enemies though. I could, I kind of like that the, these are the ones that got brought back because the, the they kind of have a charming design to them. The issue here though is uh, this sprout is just the secret area, and you can't kill these. You can't kill these catacracks, and I don't think they fall. They fall down to the lower path or lower area. So you just kind of have to hope that you push the watermelon away from the this top uh, top area, because otherwise things get can get messy. Because um. Oh, crap. Yeah, it just blew up. It's really, like, delicate, too. Like, it... it, it like, if, I think if it just bumps a wall too much, it just explodes. So, this is, uh... Yeah, this is a, a, a level that a lot of people... A lot of people really hate. And it's, uh... Most of it is justified. <laughs> It makes it a little bit easier if you kill the Karakwax, but even then, it can still be kind of a crapshoot when you have to make it fall down like that. So you just got to be careful now. Where are you trying to get it? Wait, what? Where are you trying to get it now? Yeah, I'm, ju I'm, I'm just, I'm just getting the actual shine now because it's the worst part Where of the... are you trying to get the melon? Oh, the melon? Oh, you're supposed to get it over here. Because, uh, uh, the basically what this episode is about is, like, the having a watermelon competition. And I, the idea is, uh, you have to find the biggest one available, which is this one. And you just kind of have to slowly inch it towards this little group of people. And then you get the shine. I tested this. Who said this is a good idea? <laughs> I have no idea. I, I kind of like the idea of um, uh, the episode 8 shines because it's, cause it's basically like an aftermath after you like cleared up all the all the garbage that Shadow Mario uh, cooked up. And it's basically just the civilians kind of chilling out. Also, I, I have no uh, idea. You're sitting on top of the blender. You should be dead. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you if you touch it normally like that, you do get hurt. <laughs> but yeah, the... The best. Stage fatality playing while you got the shine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like every... So, um... So Mario, Mario is dead... Mario is, uh, is, is dead confirmed. Everything after this point isn't canon because we just died. 